Sarah Han, a Dutch midwife and a lactation consultant, and I'm making this video um, about antenatal hand expressing because I hear from many new parents that this is one of the most valuable things they learn in their breastfeeding workshop. So today I will just give uh, some reasons why it might be helpful to give this a go and give a little demonstration on my knitted poop. Um, one of the reasons why it can be helpful to do this in pregnancy is that because a lot of new moms need to hand express some milk in the first days or weeks after baby is born. Um, and in this period of time, it usually can be overwhelming, you can be exhausted and there are so many new things to learn and you just would like to bond and enjoy your baby. So if you can learn the skill already in pregnancy, when you usually have a little bit more time, a little bit more energy, that might be super helpful. To explore your breast and see if there is already some, well, there is some colostrum because from 16 weeks onwards, your, your body is already making colostrum. Um, and sometimes you are able to squeeze some out. Sometimes you don't get anything and that's normal too. Um, if you are able to squeeze some milk out and you can collect it, then you can store it in the fridge or in the freezer. You can keep it in the fridge for about three days and in the freezer for three months. Um, and you can give it to your baby after it's born if it's needed. It's not always necessary. Some babies don't need it, um, but some babies do need it. When they're a little bit small or large or when a mother has pregnancy diabetes or there are a few more reasons why it can be helpful to have a bit of an insurance policy, a little bit of extra milk with you. Um, when you are touching your breast and your nipple, you are stimulating a hormone which is called oxytocin, which is the same hormone which is in your blood when you are in labor. So sometimes you feel some contractions in your uterus or some little cramps. That can help ripen your cervix. So it's also a good uh, preparation for labor and birth. At the same time, this is the reason why we advise not to do it before 36 or 37 weeks pregnancy and to um, double check with your own health provider if it's a good idea to start doing this. So how do you do it? Um, you're holding your hand in a C shape, about two and a half centimeters from your nipple. Sometimes it's exactly in the edge of the areola, but that depends on how large or sm small your areola is. And you keep your fingers at this spot so you don't slide them towards the nipple. You leave them here and you squeeze and release and squeeze, release in a rhythmic motion. So you go backwards towards your rib cage, hold it for a little bit and go back. And then you can go around. So you can turn your hands around or use your other arm, your other hands to go around and to stimulate the different glands and ducts. Sometimes it helps to warm, make your breast nice and warm before you start and give it a little bit of a massage. So around your breast, with your hand or with your fingers or around your nipple to stimulate it a little bit. If you can, sometimes, as I said, you don't see anything and that's normal. But if you see a little drop of colostrum, which can be a little bit orange or dark yellow, usually not clear white, you can um, take it off with a little one male syringe, which you can buy at a pharmacy. And you can just take it off. And if you have a little cap, you can close it up. And if you don't, you can also leave some air in between and store it in the fridge and then in the freezer. Um, yeah, you make it, put a little label around the syringes with your name, the date you have expressed the milk and you, you, your, your R number if you have one. You can take it with you to the hospital. Um, if you have any questions, just send me a message and let me know how you go. Good luck! 